Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to kind of give you guys an update as to what's going on and then I'm going to go over um, a haul with you guys. It'll be a very short, quick video. It's the basic purpose of this video is just to kind of let you know what's happening and what's going on. Uh, as you're well aware, I have not been online in a hot minute. I'm pretty sure the last video that I did air was Saturday, maybe Friday. I don't know. I did it. Um, I'm pretty sure I recorded the video Friday uh, because that's when uh, Wayne had taken Bella to the doctor's office. Um, so the last that you guys know is that we were taking Bella to the doctor's office. Um, like I've said before, um, she had cancer, pancreatitis, uh, she was jaundiced, severely dehydrated. Um, and we have taken her back and forth to the doctor's office several times in the last few weeks. And um, it's taken me a few days to make this video because I just didn't want to uh, sound completely <laughs> like a basket case, if you will. So... Um, we have coped with it and she is much better now. She is in a better place now. She is no longer hurting. Um, she's no longer starving. Um, and my children, my girls specifically, took it not so great. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I didn't take it so great either. But the way that I explained it to my daughters, uh, I have two girls for those of you who don't know was that uh, she's not hurting anymore. We are, <laughs> but uh, she's not. And I think that is what is the most important thing to remember. And uh, so that is the update with Miss Bella. She is in a better place. Um, and I thank everybody for all of your prayers and well wishes and thoughts. Uh, it it definitely was nice to come back to the YouTube and see all of that. Uh, I just got done answering everybody. Uh, it is uh, Tuesday morning. I'll probably uh, record this and then air it um, tomorrow, Wednesday for you guys. Um, just because I kind of like to be on, you know, schedule and whatnot. Uh, but I will show you something that I was doing while I was <laughs> trying to keep my mind busy while he was at the doctor's office. I was uh, making some um, jeweled clusters, if you will. So they are my doily clusters, but they're a little bit different. Um, I've It just happens to be on my desk, so I figured I would show you. This one was the odd one out. I did sets of two for the shop. And, uh, so yeah, um, there's this one here and it's just on, uh, uh, whatever this is called a glue dot and you just pull it off and you can use this pocket or whatever. And then you can use this for whatever as well. But, uh, yeah, so with Bella, it's. It is sad, but I am happy that she is, she's not hurting anymore. So, that being said, I am going to go ahead and go into the hall, which has been sitting on my desk for a week, because <laughs> I haven't really been in here. Um, I actually contemplated putting my shop on, a, what's it called, a vacation mode, but um, oh, that's some other things I have to tell you. So that day, Friday, it's been one heck of a weekend for us. Let me tell you, uh, a week actually. So, uh, as I'm going to open this up, this is from Art Beads for those of you who are not familiar. It's artbeads.com. Um, so anyway, Friday, Wayne gets back from the doctor's office and, you know, we are, we are all kind of absolutely insane at the moment. And uh, so we're, we're a very close-knit family, my family, the five of us. And uh, so we all sit at the table and 
we're just, we're playing a game of cards just to kind of take our minds off of things and uh, that evening rather. And uh, my husband had made uh, curry in the Instapot. And uh, so he's making curry and uh, we all sit down and we are eating dinner while we're playing our cards at the same time because, you know, we're just taking our minds off of things. Anyway, it's bedtime and it's time for uh, everyone to get ready to go to bed. And so I tell Sid to go get in the shower and Porter and I, while well, we're waiting for Sid to get out of the shower so he can take a shower, Porter and I sit down and we're going to watch some Netflix together. And we get about five minutes into the show and I can hear Sydney in the shower. Uh, she's crying. So, uh, I go in there and, uh, I, the way that my house sits is my living room sits like right here. There's a hallway right here. And then my kids' bedrooms are here, here, bathroom here. And then my daughter's room is down here, right? So Sid is in the bathroom and we're in the living room over here. And so I hear her. Uh, crying in the shower. So I get up and I go into the shower where I walk down the hallway and I see a giant puddle. There's a water heater right here. This is where our AC unit is and this is where the water heater is. And there's a giant puddle in my hallway. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me right now? This can't be happening. <laughs> so I go in and I talk to Sid. She's literally sitting in the bathtub, just crying. And so I talked to her. I was like, look, baby, you got to get out. Uh, we can talk, but I need you to get out of the bathtub and turn the shower off right now. And so she does, she's nine. So she's, she's, you know, she's not a baby. Um, so she does, she understands, you know, something's happened. And, uh, so she gets out and, uh, my husband is on the phone with maintenance for housing because we live in military housing. And so if there's an issue, we just call maintenance. So anyway, uh, oh, open. So my husband's on the phone with maintenance. My oldest daughter is in her bedroom. And so I get her out of her room and uh, get my youngest out of the bathroom and out of the hallway area. And, uh, um, we have maintenance in our house within, you know, an hour and my entire house is flooded. Like the whole hallway, that hallway right here where the living room is, uh, there's the living room here, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, flooded bedroom. My, my oldest daughter's bedrooms right here, flooded my office. It, there's a wall here and a wall here separating the living room and this bedroom. So it basically sits like this and there's a little bathroom here. There's a living room here and bedroom here, office here, right? So this hallway flooded, bathroom flooded, living room flooded, office, uh, not so much because my, my husband took precautions because of the last time, last two times, my water heater area flooded bedroom flooded. Um, so he took precautions with my office, but at the time this bathroom here, cause this bathroom is huge and it wasn't at the time my storage closet. So, um, he didn't take as he didn't take precautions for that one. Um, but it, the water actually didn't get too bad into the bathroom. It flooded the wall. And because what he did was he took precautions in that water heater area. Cause the water heater area is like right here, right? It's like right beside this bathroom on the other side of the wall, obviously. But anyway, so he puts, uh, like caulk, uh, the like bathroom caulk, uh, all around the floorboard of that water heater room. So it doesn't get into my office and he actually put it in that water heater room. And he also put it on the other side of like in my office on this wall here, uh, in here. Okay. And so anyway, 
Um, this is all happening the same day that he comes back from the doctor's office. Okay. <laughs> like it's, it was one very, very trippy last five days for me. Um, <laughs> uh, very testing, very trying, but, um, so it flooded. We had water everywhere. And so they actually, they actually kicked us out of the house, which is fine because they needed to clean up all of the water and clean up the carpets and whatnot. I had to, um, there's a hallway right here, um, beside like my front door is right here. And then the hallway here beside the bathroom and then goes into that living room. There's a Persian rug on that hallway and the water was no lie about four inches from touching that Persian rug before we realized, you know, that the house was flooding. Um, so the very first thing that we did was we got that up because I, to the best of my knowledge, you're not supposed to wet a Persian rug. Um, did I show you guys this one? I think I did. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So that was one of the first things that we actually got up that in the area rug that's in my living room. Uh, everything else is, um, it's actually linoleum. We live in, in base housing, so it's not tile, but it's also not hardwood either. Cause had it been hardwood, oh my gosh, they would have had to replace this flooring several times over. Um, they've already had to replace the carpet padding underneath, um, like the, the carpets, not the rugs, but the carpets. They've had to do that three times since we've lived here and we've been here for uh, just over two years. Like we got here January of 19 and it is February of 21. Um, but yeah, so they kicked us out and so they set us up into, cause we're, we live in military housing, right? So, uh, they gave us a model home is what they called it. It's basically a home that's set up to show new residents um, that are coming in anyway, um, where they put us was over on the other side of housing. So, um, it was, uh, it, it's obviously it wasn't officer housing. So where we were going was much smaller area, which was actually kind of refreshing to be honest with you. It was empty. It was, I mean, it had furniture and such in it, but, um, it was just, it was so much smaller because it was a, it was a three bedroom. Um, one of the bedrooms had two twin beds in it. So my girls just slept in there. Um, but it was, it, we're, we're in about a 2200 square foot home right now. And, uh, when, where they put us was about a 1200. And like I said, it was, it was actually quite refreshing to be in something s like smaller, uh, I did miss my, my office though. Um, so that was sad, <laughs> but, uh, I like this one. This one's cool. These are, uh, these are bigger. I think these are eight Oh, uh, size six, six O C beads. Um, this one's eight Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, um, I couldn't sleep. And I don't know if it was just the stress of everything that had happened that day or the fact that I was sleeping on concrete with springs stabbing my ribs. <laughs> but, um, so I ended up with a crank in my neck that I'm still, like I said, today is Tuesday. That was Friday night that I slept in that bed. And, um, I told Wayne, I was just like, you know, I can deal with the fans because that's kind of why they kicked us out because they had, uh, they had four fans like scattered throughout. And if you've ever had like a flooded area in your house, then, um, you, you know, with the, the fans I'm talking about, they're giant and they're huge and they're loud. And so they were trying to make us more comfortable with, um, being somewhere without all that noise. Cause they had already, uh, cleaned everything, um, with, you know, water sitting, they put down, um, like chemicals and such to prevent from mold and, you know, such like that. Um, but they had already done all that. They were just drying up basically. I like this one. This one's green. Um, and Mist Maiden. 
Oh, they all have names on them. I guess I could show you the names. Um, but anyway, they were trying to make us more comfortable by giving us the ones that, uh, giving us a house to stay in that didn't have the loud fans. But I told me, I was like, I, I can deal with the fans. I just want to go home. So we did. We packed up everything. And um, we he was at work that day because, um, no. No, this was Thursday because he had to work the next day. Okay, yeah. I was like, why would he work the next day? So you guys got the last video on Friday. And this all happened Thursday. And because he had to work the next day, because the next day was the chief's uh, pinning ceremony. Because um, I remember he had to wear his khakis. And um, so he, uh, he went to work. And while he was at work, I just packed up my car and, you know, took the kids and, and Zena back home. Because we had Zena with us, too. And um, so she was, she was funny. Um, she was, she just kept running circles around the house because it's so small. Um, she just kept running circles around the house. Um, but anyway, we packed everything up and we went back home and I mean, it was loud and you know, it was annoying, but not really because I could sleep at night, you know, and it, it took me a while to get to sleep. Uh, I had to take melatonin. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a it's a chemical that your body produces anyway when it's my nighttime. Um, and when you take extra melatonin, it just helps you a little bit more to get to sleep. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, this is 11-0 Briar Rose. And um, anyway, so we got back home and we've been home ever since. Um, but it's been, it's been a very interesting day. They just took my, my fans. <laughs> they just took the fans yesterday. Um, like I said, today is Tuesday. Uh, yesterday was Monday. Um, and they took the fans yesterday, probably around like four or five. It was right before Wayne got home from work. Um, and, uh, so they took the fans, they took the dehumidifier. That thing is massive, by the way. It's like, it's really, really big, that dehumidifier thingy, my bobber. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, it's been a very interesting, <laughs> very interesting past few days. Um, I hope to get back in the swing of things. I did want to go ahead and, you know, come on here and share with you guys this haul that's been sitting on my desk for a week um and hopefully i can get the stuff put away and whatnot uh maybe start making some stuff i'm not sure um but i am definitely behind on these challenges because i wanted to do the challenges um i'm way behind on those because there's quite a few that i wanted to do this year um so i've got some catch up to do um, oh, this one's 15. Ooh, that'll be fun to play with. I don't think I have any 15 or seed beads. I do now. It's called rose petals. Isn't that pretty? But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of give you guys an update as to what's going on. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't want you guys to feel like I'm just like abandoning you because I'm not, I'm just, uh, Going through some stuff, man. Going through some stuff. It is definitely interesting. Oh, this one's a free gift. Check that out. I was like, wait, what? I didn't order this. This is a mystery gift. In here. Kill. Uh, well, it is definitely a mystery because I have no idea what it is. Um, they kind of look like saltwater pearls, actually. Or not saltwater, freshwater. I mean, they're pretty. Oh, it's stretchy. Bling, 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 bling. No, I don't want to break them. <laughs> I could put it on just like this. Pew. I'll wear it just like that. I probably won't, but um, I remember why I stopped wearing this bracelet. I love this bracelet, but I stopped wearing it because um, 
it's an oval and then it'll like sit like this and then it like it's very weird and then it'll flip upside down and <laughs> it's just weird like i love this bracelet though i can't wear the ring to go with it uh because it's too big it doesn't fit on any of my fingers anymore um as it is i have to wear three rings on <laughs> my wedding finger because uh these guys they, they fall off and they don't fit on any other finger. So. Ugh. Um, I have to go get them resized. But there's like. We got most of my jewelry at Zales. Uh, at the mall in Washington. And New York. But. Um, these are magnetic. What? How interesting is that? <laughs> they're magnetic Oop. so anyway um but i haven't seen a zales in a minute and i mean we've been here for two years but then again i don't go to the mall here like, at all um these are for making bracelets or necklaces i guess um and the the clasp this is the clasp like it's a magnetic tube and barrel and it just kind of aligns in together like that. So the next thing that I want to try doing is um, I want to try like patterns because there are patterns out there for beading. Um, now it's more threading than, you know, wire beading, but it is something that I want to try. So this one's pretty neat too. So this one is a hook and a hook and eye, but it's got the things here so you can add more to it. So I think that's really cool. So I will be playing with these to see what I can do with them. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update as to uh, what was going on. So it's four each. This one has one, two, three, four, five, five loops on the side. But yeah, so like I said, I just wanted to give you guys an update as to what was going on and, you know, let you know why I haven't been on <laughs> um, and kind of let you know that I am going to try and be back. I'm going to try and be back on a little bit more often. I definitely want to get these challenges done. Um, well, because they're challenging and they're fun. Um, one of them I have to redo. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that a couple times, um, but yeah, one of them I have to redo because uh, something the audio was like all out or whatever. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go and um, I will catch you guys all in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys all for your very positive thoughts and, and comments and just thank you for being with us. Um, in this really crazy, crazy, crazy time right now. And just thank you. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.